Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles. Now, I have a 2011 MacBook Pro. Yeah, the one with the 17 inch screen. But it only has eight gigabytes of memory, which by today's standards is nothing. So I decided it was time to upgrade it, so I ordered up 16 gigabytes of memory. Now I could have one of those Apple geniuses install it, but honestly, I don't think this is anything too complex that we can't figure out. Apple, we got this. Let's just hope we don't see any magic smoke. All right, guys, so I have my MacBook Pro sitting right here, and the memory that I selected was by Crucial. Now, this memory right here I selected because on their site, they have a really cool tool. You just basically go in and put what MacBook Pro you have, and it tells you exactly what memory you need. Now, this particular package has two 8-gigabyte modules because this laptop has two slots for memory. Currently, there's two four gigabyte sticks in it. Okay, so once you have the memory in your hands, the first thing you're gonna need is a tiny little screwdriver. So make sure you have a jeweler's screwdriver because these little MacBook Pros have some tiny, tiny screws. Now, the back here is held on by a series of screws that looks like there's about eight, nine, 10 screws holding the back plate on. So we need to remove those. Cue the music. <laughs> Okay, so all the screws are removed. Make sure you put them in a safe place. They are quite tiny. Also, I just wanna make a quick note that three of the screws are these very long screws. And the very long screws, if you have the laptop upside down and facing towards you, go into the back upper right corner. Don't forget that, it's important. All right, now we just have to remove the back plate. Now, the easiest way to do this is grab along the back side where the screen is, because there's a little lip you can actually get your fingers on. So we're gonna go ahead and pry it up. You're gonna hear some popping noises, that's normal. So this is what the guts look like. Um, at first glance looking in here, you can see that the memory slot has two memory sticks and they're stacked right on top of each other. You can also see that this particular unit has a replaceable drive. You can put a different DVD drive in it or you can take that out and put a whole different drive uh, in there and like a second SSD. And you've got a standard hard drive over here in the corner. You also have a solid battery that can be removed and easily replaced. Now this is one of the things I really liked about the MacBook Pro when I first bought it was, all of the new stuff that Apple's coming out with, everything's the, the storage, the memory, all that stuff is like solid state in their MacBooks because they're trying to maximize the battery life. So they're basically making these integrated batteries that are very hard to replace. This old laptop, yeah, it's big, it's beefcake, but it's serviceable by me, which I personally like. All right, since I already have the back off, before I do anything, I'm gonna go ahead and blow the dust out of it. Just using a can of regular old PC duster. <laughs> it's actually not very dusty at all, which is very nice. Now, just a little tech tip. If you're using PC Duster to blow stuff out, especially fans, don't just blow on the fan full force and overturn it because you can damage the bearing. Either hold the impeller in place while you're blowing or just do short little bursts so that you don't overspin it. All right, so it's time to remove the old memory. To do this, you just spread the clips apart. They come apart very, very easily. You can see the memory stick just pops right up. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and slide that out. There's one memory stick. Now the one on the bottom, the same thing, just spread the little prongs apart and it should come out nice and easily, just like so. All right, time to crack open the crucial memory. Now, realistically, you guys can get any memory you want as long as it's compatible. Uh, this was just personal preference for me. I'm actually not sponsored in any way, shape, or form by Crucial. I just chose to buy this memory because it was the easiest match that I could find for this when I was searching. All right, let's go ahead and pop the modules out. All right, so now here you see the new modules next to the old modules. One interesting thing I noticed is that the board these modules are built on are different colors, the memory that came with the unit, because it was a four gig and I had them add another stick when I originally bought it. So this is the old memory, we'll go ahead and set that aside. This is what we're installing. Now, if you've ever inserted an Atari cartridge, you are more than capable of doing your own memory upgrade. So all we're gonna do is take the memory sticks. You can see they have a little notch down here at the bottom. You line that notch up with the notch in the hole, starting with the lower one, and we're gonna go ahead and just push it in at an angle. Don't force it, just finagle it. You gotta be gentle, you know, buy a little wine, get a little dinner. And then push it in. See what I did there? All right, let me show you one up close as I'm installing, just so you can see how easy it is. All right, so we're just gonna take our little memory module here. You can see the little notch in the slot. We're just gonna line it up on that notch, just very, very gently, you know, wiggle it in. Again, gotta buy a dinner. Gotta be really sweet and gentle. And then just from the top, you just push her down. Snap. And now you can see both of the new memory modules are installed. It's really that easy. Almost makes you wonder why I even made a video. 
All right, so normally I'd flip it over and start it up and make sure that the memory was recognized and all that, but I'm fairly confident everything's gonna work fine because this went so smoothly. So let's go ahead and put the back back on. <laughs> I said back twice. All right, again, little fan shrouds go at the top. Just layer on there. Time to put all those screws back. Cue the music. <laughs> Ah, crap, I dropped the screw. Not even joking, that took like five minutes to find and then I dropped it again, but I did finally get it. All right, couple of pro tips. If you can get a magnetic tip screwdriver, absolutely do it because that was a nightmare. Also, make sure you torque the screws down good, but don't torque them too hard because they're easy to strip. But if you just get them barely finger tight, they will start to back out on you. And I've had that happen to me a couple of times. All right, time to flip it over and see if it works. The moment of truth. I hear noises. I see an Apple logo, this is good. All right, well, everything appears to be loaded. One last little check here. Let's go click on our little Apple and go to About This Mac. And as you can see, it clearly says I have 16 gigabytes of 1333 megahertz DDR3 memory. Success! Well, as you can see, that was actually really simple to do. It only takes you a couple of minutes, and if you have a MacBook that's upgradable, it's just that simple. And to be honest, most laptops, even PCs, are very, very similar in the upgrade process. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you even found it maybe a little funny. Please let me know down in the comments. It's the only way I know if I'm doing any good at this. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also come over to Twitter. I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself.